Godzilla is truly a horrifying concept, and I don't think a lot of people understand that. At least a lot of the new fans don't understand that. A lot of the new fans know Godzilla from the legendary uh, movies and shows, the MonsterVerse, where Godzilla is millions upon millions of years old, and he is a protector of the planet Earth, where he just keeps the balance of things. But, again, I don't think a lot of people understand that was not the original Godzilla. The original Godzilla was scary. The original Godzilla was a dinosaur-like sea monster that was living around the island of Odo, and when nuclear testings happened on the island, or near the island, where it was existing, it turned that Godzilla into Godzilla. The monster that's radiated, that can fire a heat ray from its mouth. This is a monster created through the horrors of a nuclear future. That was the point of the original Godzilla. To be a omen for tampering with nuclear ideology or some shit like that. And I think that Godzilla is scary yet cool. This takes us to Godzilla minus one. Godzilla minus one just recreated Godzilla. Not only did it, was it a, a remake, but it was a, I don't want to say a reimagining because 1998 is a reimagining where the French created Godzilla by accident, which I'm not going to lie, kind of like that, but throw that out the window. Godzilla minus one. Godzilla starts off as a sea monster dinosaur creature, and he is a wild animal. He, he's obviously hunting, people die. He's like just trying to find food, protecting his territory, blah, blah, blah. And nuclear testings happen and it makes it a worse problem because Godzilla can now regenerate on top of having a heat ray that has the power of a nuclear bomb. That's right, when he fires this heat ray and whatever it contacts, it is a nuclear explosion. And Godzilla is actually hurt by his own power because he is literally the first of his kind, not created through natural evolution like he previously was, but he is a product of mankind's mistakes. We created a powerful creature that we cannot kill, and it was all an accident. That is the plot of Godzilla Minus One. We created a monster that cannot be killed. And it's always gonna come back. It's gonna always destroy everything we love and hold close to us. A lot of people don't, what, what I just said right now, a lot of people don't see that as Godzilla, mainly because of the newer movies. Godzilla Minus One brought us back to what the true Godzilla was. Horror, scary, something we cannot control. Godzilla was meant to be a horror to mankind, and recently Hollywood has been turning him into a folk hero of some sort, and making him super small it seems in the grand scheme of things, when in reality he shouldn't be like that at all. And Godzilla Minus One, they let you know how much of a threat he is. He has the power to destroy the world. So does Godzilla in the Hollywood legendary movies, but he's obviously not gonna do that. 
this Godzilla is smart. This one from Godzilla Minus One, like I said before, is just a wild animal that is just grabbing territory, getting its hunting grounds. It just wants to stay alive. It has no idea what humans are, really, other than a possible food source uh, or just a nuisance that it just wants to just get rid of. This Godzilla has unchecked power and has the capability to destroy the worlds. Whether if he does or doesn't on purpose doesn't matter. The thing I'm getting at is he can. Again, yes, a legendary's Godzilla does have the power to destroy the world also, but he is not a wild animal in this one. He is almost like a deity. Like we don't know Godzilla's true origins. We just know he's always been there for some reason. He was there when the comet hit the dinosaurs. He was always the way he was, and he has adapted to survive in the new age of humans. Big scary monster that will probably accidentally destroy the planet. Do you see what I'm getting at here? After thinking on Godzilla Minus One for a month, I've come to the realization that this is not the real Godzilla. This is the real Godzilla. I should not be rooting for Godzilla. You should not be rooting for Godzilla. You should be running away from him. I am glad Toho got back into the Godzilla business. Shin Godzilla was... I give it a B plus. But minus one, it really brought us back. Even a little bit further than needed. And I love that. I hope there is a sequel. And... It further expands on everything I've said. That Godzilla is meant to be a horrifying creature that can destroy the planet purely by accident because he is nothing more than mankind's mistakes. That's all I have to say. Godzilla Minus One is an incredible movie. I recommend you go watch it. There's actually a re-release, a re-re-release of Godzilla Minus One called Godzilla Minus Color where they actually re-edited the whole movie to be in black and white. And it's not just a stupid little filter on like Final Cut Pro or like Adobe Premiere. No, they have re-edited the color to be black and white to depict the scenes properly. So that way it pops out. It gives the intention that they want. So even more scary in my opinion especially what i've seen from the trailer with some snippets like it's it's actually godzilla looks even scarier and i don't know what it is but the fact that a world war just ended and the biggest thing is in like america and it's just a like a tower where people like go to work and the second biggest thing is a giant radioactive dinosaur and it's just running around like an already destroyed uh, Tokyo and it's in black and white I don't know why the black and white makes it scarier but it just does it, it makes humans feel small and insignificant and I think that's what Godzilla should strive to be to tell us we are insignificant a lot of this is just word rambling, probably. But I hope you understand what I'm trying to tell you. We need more Godzilla movies like Godzilla Minus One.